Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Fern here. So today we're going to learn how to do this cool little uh, background effect here in Photoshop. So here we go. I'm going to create a new file, 1080 by 1080. Keep in mind, all of the everything that I'm teaching you guys, showing you, is just uh, a starting point. Try things. This is just for you guys to learn the basics. Try different things, try new things, try different sizes if you need different sizes. Like I said, this is just a starting point for you guys to learn. And then you guys take it to, you know, add your own steps, add your own um, styles and, and, and make it grow, man. Add your own style to it. So, all right. So first hit D and this will make the, your colors your default. And then uh, just black and white hit D on the keyboard then you're going to go to filter and then you're going to render and you're going to go to clouds that's going to give you the some nice clouds if you hit command F on the Mac or control F uh, on the PC it'll keep adding more clouds but what I want you to do is now we're going to go again and you're going to go to render and this time you're going to go to difference clouds and that's going to give you these cool little lines here. So hit that a couple times. And as you can see, it's it goes to like some, you know, this one's a little bit more white than black. Um, hit a couple times, not too many, about there. But, but stay at one where there's more white than black. Uh, after that, you're going to go over here. <clears throat> you're going to go to Pixelate. And then you're going to hit mosaic. That's going to give you this. Uh, do about uh, 25, maybe 30. Uh, okay. Do cell size 30. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now you're going to go to filter. Filter gallery. And then you're going to go to glowing edges. Under style stylized glowing edges and like i said you play around try something whatever you want keep doing it over and over till you find something you like so that's i have the edge with three edge brightness four and two this five okay so that's cool and you're going to get this cool little pattern here going after that you're going to go again over here to filter this time you're going to go to blur and then you're going to go to uh, radial blur. And I think by default, I think it's set to spin. And the default is good. However, so you're going to set yours to zoom. And then you're going to go to best. Uh, uh, 10, you know, again, play around with it. Try different things. I'm going to leave this at 10. And then you're going to get this blur effect here. From here... You're going to go to filter. Uh, where is it? Stylize. Find edges. And then it's going to give you this cool little thing. And then you're going to hit command I to invert the selection here. So you command I just basically inverts the color. Command I on a Mac. Control I on a PC. After that, you're going to start playing around with colors. There's a few ways you can do this. Uh, you're going to go here and add a new adjustment layer. Go to Hue and Saturation. And then it's going to open up here. And then you can hit Colorize. And then it's going to, you know, you can play with the colors here. The hues, the colors, all that sort of stuff. Make it pretty much any color you want. Play with it. Add colors, all that stuff. Then, if you want to take it even a little bit further, to give it some real depth, add a new layer. Pick a, a cool color, maybe something with contrast. Maybe we have like a, like a blue here. Let's see if we could... Let's add a little bit of a... Uh, 
let's do like a lime kind of green here let's see what that looks like and then so you're going to hit your your gradient tool click the, the your radial one and then click the 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 color one with uh gradient to zero opacity okay hit okay and then just kind of start drawing in some something like that and then you're going to hit the blending mode from uh multi you know all of these are are uh will give you different results some look cool some don't um and just like i said play around play around with uh overlay seems to work pretty good i'm gonna leave this one here at, at uh an overlay lower it a little bit just so it's not so strong we just kind of want a little bit of them let's see what the hell i'm gonna throw in a, in a, a different color in here let's try like uh let's see what if we try like a maybe like a turk like a blue color let's see what that does same settings let's put a new layer Gonna go to overlay. And drop it a little. So yeah, guys. So that's it. Like I said, this is just a starting point, guys. You guys take it a step further. Add more colors to it, or you know, add some text to it. Use it as a background. Use it as a texture. And so, yeah, man. There you go. All right. See you next time. Bye, guys.